Hello YouTube, it's Sebastian here, and uh, I just wanted to make a video going over how I did at Vices London, sort of what deck I took, which, as you can tell by the title, was two Draco, and sort of uh, how I how I felt with the deck, what I how I think of the deck this format, uh, sort of what cards are good, what cards aren't. Uh, and so we'll just like start off with me going over like what I played exactly in my list for uh Rises London. And so we played uh one dynamite, uh with the three Ignis and then the Maiden. Um I didn't like Maiden, uh I don't like Maiden still, but sort of having the extra monster is important. The there was two matches I lost where I just didn't open a monster two games in a row. And so, sort of like just playing the four Dracos, uh, it isn't good enough. Like, you, you need the Maiden. Uh, Maiden's also an extra name for Erupt, which is why I originally put it in. Um, but yeah, just having the extra Draco monster was really helpful uh, over the weekend. Um, now, the reason why Maiden's bad is because in Dracos, uh, the spells are good, the traps are good, but the monsters themselves aren't really that good outside of just being beat sticks. And so Maiden, uh, so searching monsters is the worst thing you can do in the deck. Uh, dry, diagram search. Uh, so, so, di so searching monsters is the worst thing you can do in the deck. Mm. So another reason to play like five Dracos instead of just like four is because you you want to avoid diagram searching monsters. Like ideally, your diagram should be searching a uh, back row. So if you're searching a monster of Diagram, uh, that's not as helpful. So uh, playing an extra Draco increases your chances of opening Dracos. Uh, and then uh, I played Free Inspector Border uh, because I'm playing the Floodgate version of the deck. Sort of uh, Inspector Border is really good. Going first, so that you slap down Border against most decks and they can't do anything. Especially game one. Game one, that like, no one has outs. Uh, of a uh, pure thunder plays like instant fusion, so they can thousand eyes take it. But apart from that, like or orcus, uh, I, I guess there's also imperm, but sort of there's not many outs that decks play to inspector border in the main, and so it's sort of like uh, it's just really strong. It's strong against thunder. It's strong against orcus, and it's really good against Sunamine great. Uh, so like this card is. The strong in general, like uh, you, you have to play it. I feel like, and then we play uh, the three diagram uh, with terraforming, of course. So we play uh, four diagrams because this card is uh, really good. Sort of like the extra three hundred attack is really relevant. Keeping your monsters on the field, like them not being able to be destroyed by battle once a turn, is also really relevant. And so diagram is just like good in general. Um, so obviously you play free, that's the standard. Uh, then free heritage, free disciples, because uh, the Draco spells and traps are the best Draco cards in the deck. Um, and then for the draw cards, I played uh, free demise, two desires, two duality, one upstart. Uh, so with this, so sort of the free demise uh, is a no-brainer. It's the it's the best card game one, game. Two and three, it's sort of like one of the worst cards you can open, but it's still like good, like it's still worth keeping in. Uh, desires, I uh, played two desires, two duality instead of like zero of this and three of this because I was uh, respecting the fun the matchup. Uh, one thing, you see, uh, I'm just like trying to think how I would change the deck to do better, and honestly, I think my list was uh, perfect. Uh, sort of like I saw, I saw these when I needed to. Apart from the games I didn't win, uh, but sort of like I did these draw cards were fine. Uh, I didn't really clog on too many draw cards, which is what I wanted to avoid, because I if you play free duality, uh, you run the risk of like using duality, going into that demise and then demise drawing into another duality, and that's just a dead card then at that point. Uh, so I was able to avoid that with just playing two of each pot and then also the upstart um, and then for the traps I played uh, the fear apocalypse and one return these are actually the best draco cards in the deck uh, heritage and disciples are pretty good but like these are insane and then the rest of the cards are like floodgates so like 
fee you up, fee their community one, uh, then the soul drain. Uh, so sort of, this is really good against like Thunder, which is the worst matchup. Uh, this is really good against everything relevant, and this is really good against everything relevant. Uh, and uh, against Orcus, this is really strong still because you're turning off the Ding protection, which is really annoying for the deck to handle. And against Sun Mine Greats, uh, you, it, it's alright. It, and then last week, cast with this like free judgment. Uh, people were main decking back removal, so I just wanted to make sure I avoided uh, getting blown out by like main deck to interests or anything. Uh, also, like sometimes negating summons is relevant. Uh, there was a game I won against Thunder because I was able to judgment the their instant fusion uh, to stop them from being able to attack for the game. But uh, on to the side deck now. Um, and I, this side deck was a bit odd for me when I was making it because uh, I had 9 cards I was set on playing. And I didn't decide on the last uh, 6 cards until, uh, until Friday when I was pre-vegging. Uh, but thinking back on it, like this side deck, I probably wouldn't change. Uh, so I played the Free Lancia, then I played Free Dark Ruler No More, Free Cosmic, uh, then Free Heavy Storm Duster, and Free Summon Limit. So, sort of like Summon Limit uh, was really good against Unit Orcus, and sort of Deck Money 1 is kind of bad against Unit Orcus because they just don't care. They they can easily play Free Deck Money 1, but this uh, stops Unit Orcus, like. Unit Orcus can't play through Summon Limit, and so this card was uh, insane when I played against Unit Orcus. Uh, Heavy Storm Duster was sort of like, I wanted to make sure if I do play against Strikers, uh, that I can just blow them out, because I'm still kind of scared of the Striker matchup, and so I wanted to have a card in my side deck that just completely blows them out. Um, so I played a uh, free Heavy Storm Duster. And then Cosmic, um, Cosmic I was a bit iffy on, like Cosmic and Summon Limits were the 6 cards I weren't sure I was going to play until uh, the Friday. Uh, but I really like Cosmic. Uh, against Orcus, like being able to hit the Crescendo, you force the Crescendo to be activated. And then like, that, that's the issue, is trying to get rid of the Crescendo so you can play. But like once you've dealt with the Crescendo, the Orcus matchup becomes more manageable. And so this card is just really good at forcing that Crescendo. And then the three that were no more was like for Lunar Orcus and for Thunder. Uh, seeing this card against Thunder is really strong, so you can set up your board. Uh, I've played against Combo, uh, like Rocket, I think, Guard Dragons, uh, Round One, and I, I saw this like turn four, whatever, uh, in game two, and yeah, sat it down, set up my board. Yeah. Uh, and then like Lion Shield is for like Orcus. Because uh, this card is good. Uh, this card is like such a blowout against Orcus, especially like Orcus now, where they're trying to send their pieces to the grave and then banish them. So like they they can just go like normal mathematician, and then you throw down Lancia, yeah. and then they sort of like have to pass, and then outing their stuff is easy. Uh, like if if they do just mathematician pass, then you can apoc pop it, attack over, set up your board, and they can't play. Um, so sort of like, what did I think of Dracos uh, for Wise of London? I feel like, uh, the thing about Dracos is that I don't think they're really that good, but because this format is so, uh, sort of low ceiling, like, there's no decks that are doing much this format, uh, Dracos are, like, completely fine. Uh, I would build Floodgate Draco, like, not Extra Deck Draco, uh, I think, Extra deck Draco is really weak, uh, even though it's the one that top, but whatever. Um, I, I think Extra deck Draco is weak because of like the good cards in Draco, so all your floodgates, and uh, sort of your Draco cards themselves aren't good. Uh, so you sort of you, you need to see the floodgates in Dracos. Uh, so I like playing uh, more floodgates than Super Poly, whatever. Um, my super, like, super Poly isn't really that strong this format either, so I'm, I'm not sure Extra Deck Draco is correct at all. But sort of like, I just prefer Floodgate Draco, seeing Floodgates is how you win with Dracos. Um, sort of... 
Yeah, I, I don't like Crackdown. Crackdown is sort of like a do nothing card because like you crack down them, they go cosmic, they get their monster back, well done. Like that's done. You for competition nothing at that point. Uh, so I, I don't like Crackdown. I don't play that. I've never played that. Um, trying to think like what other techs people play. Uh, oh, Metatron is bad. Like Metatron's an egg free. Never play Metatron. Um, Yeah, I'm just trying to think like, uh, like that, 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 that this this is perfect. Like if if you want to build Flygate Draco, this this is perfect. Trust me, that no, was insane. Uh, I ended up going a uh, eight three at Rise of London with this list, and sort of like it was insane. Uh, the only matches I lost were where I just didn't open monsters, uh, which whatever. Uh, next time I have better luck. I probably wouldn't play Dracos again, but like. Uh, yeah, I probably I probably wouldn't play Draco again, but if you want to like play this list, it's fine, it's great. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go. So bye.